Welcome back to daytime. We are here today with Les Farkas of Skydive Toronto. Les, thank you so much for joining us on thank the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for outfitting me. Now, we were talking at the top of the show how you have a special connection to daytime. Uh, what would that be? <laughs> you and I are married to the same person. Exactly. <laughs> we're going to share her. I get her from 11 to 12. You get her 23 other hours of the day. Well, sometimes I'll call you for there's odd hours you can have. Exactly. And we said, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to have a behind the scenes show one day. And the things you want to ask about Melanie Case, but we're always too afraid to ask. All right. All right. So, but you are here from Skydive Toronto. I am. Uh, you have me here in the harness. Mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about uh, what you do at Skydive Toronto. Well, I'm one of the senior instructors at Skydive Toronto. Mm -hmm. I've been there for about five years. Okay. Um, I do pretty much everything. I train people how to jump out of planes on their own. Wow. I do exactly what you're doing right now, take people, put them in harnesses, strap them to my chest, take them out of the plane. Uh, I go out of the plane with these really funky cameras. Yeah. And I fly in front of people oh and gosh. I videotape their, their, their whole experience. It's fantastic too because what you don't know because you didn't see it, this took you all of, what, two minutes to get me assembled in the harness and the helmet and the whole thing, I right? probably harnessed about 4,000 people, wow. 5,000 yeah. people. And you can do it in no time. Yeah. yeah. Now, you said a lot of the times you get guys coming in there and they actually, uh, you know, maybe you're you're going up to the guy to harness him up, and they're like, oh, well, you know, what about her over there? You know, because so you, you, a lot of the guys want to have the ladies kind of harness so them up, common. right? So, but why is it, why do you find it's more helpful well, that if you do it? Well, let me show you a little okay, trick here. All right. Okay, if the girl was going to harness you, she would just simply take those leg straps right. here and pull on oh, this and oh strap boy. it up, okay? Oh, boy. We're going to teach you a little trick to <laughs> okay. avoid your little pain. So, put your legs nice and wide, sumo yeah. wide. There we go. And put the strap on the side of your thigh, okay. and the side of your thigh over here. And now you can stand up normal. Okay. Stand up normal. Stand up. And everything bunches out yeah. of the way. So where, where maybe if a female did it, you know, Willie down there might not be doing too well. No, you'd be on the way down in the parachute for about five minutes of a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My voice would go about five octaves higher. Absolutely. That's what would happen. Now, Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm feeling kind of good. I'm not yeah, gonna lie here. So now <laughs> you actually uh, you wanted to put something on yourself today. You wanted to show me oh, how you did something as well. Well, sure. I mean, I mean, this is a your standard parachute. Okay. All Do you right. need a hand with anything? Oh, here. Have a feel okay. what it feels like. Yeah. It's nice and heavy. Yeah. Not too heavy. Not too bad. About 20 pounds. Perfect. And Slide simply on. goes on. There you go. And these are our emergency handles and our chest strap and our leg straps and all that. Fantastic. So I'll get you out of that. You want to try one on? Yeah, let's, let's do it. All right. Well, it'll take me about one second to get you out of that harness. Perfect. See how fast he can do this. Just take it right off. Yeah, it's just this one little knot one there that'll be the one problem. And that's the only problem. The rest comes nice and fast. Now, as you do this, in terms of uh, you know safety precautions, safety procedures, um, I'm sure that's the number one thing you get asked about at Skydive Toronto, right? It, well, it's the number one thing we think of at all times. Mm -hmm. uh, safety is first and foremost the main concern. And can we talk about uh, one thing that's pretty awesome about Skydive Toronto is you guys have an unparalleled success rate. Absolutely. Our safety record is unmatched um, in, in Ontario, in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a 40-year Wow, scuff mark free. That's amazing. Yeah. Better than all your competitors that are out there right now. It, it is, and it, you know, it, it's. It, I don't want to put because we're all friends. All of us are. In, you know, it's one industry, and it's yeah. a very small community, so we don't badmouth each other. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of timing of where it happened, when it happened. Yeah. But we've been knock on wood lucky to this point. All right, let's settle me up. All right. Okay. So now you've got that one. Okay. We're gonna pull out this one, which is the one I would wear. Okay. Well, it looks a little heavier. So, will my arm fit in there? Yep, sure there will. There you All go. Right. Perfect. All right. You ready? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, is what's the difference between the one that I have on and the one that you have on? This parachute is pretty much 350 square feet. Okay. My parachute that so I have on. Take a look at it. And the parachute's in the bottom here, the reserve's in the top. Um, this one was about 350 square feet. This one's about 320 square feet. Right. The one that I just had on is about 150 square feet. So this is about pretty close to triple the size. Wow. Man, I feel like I'm getting my workout in the gym already. And do that do 20, your squats, 20, right? 20 times a day. Wow. So, I mean, you're constant, you constantly have this on your back when you're up in the air. Constantly. When I'm up in the air, when I'm on the ground, literally I get off the... I land, I drop it, I leave it in the landing area, mm -hmm. and quite often there's somebody already there holding a new one, wow. already packed. So it's it's off my back for 10 seconds. Right. So the one that you put on was a 20 pounder. Yep. Now that was that what the other flyers would have on? That's a sport rig. That's what I would use for if I was doing video. Okay. Um, so if I was filming somebody, I would have that because it only holds one person. Oh wow. Okay. This parachute is double, triple the size because it holds two people. Wow. 
And we never know the size of the passengers. I mean, we can take people from 300 pounds all the way down. Wow. So all different. And you know, speaking about filming, speaking about video, we're actually going to take a look right now at some uh, at some video of you in action. Yeah, I guess. Let's, it's... let's take a look at that right now. What are you doing? Drinking some water? Drinking some water. And getting ready to what? What's this whole little getup you've got here? That's a nice outfit. It's not Halloween yet. What are you doing? Wow, this is one of my secret history. So excited! Why? What are you doing? Well, it's my birthday. Happy I'm birthday! I'm doing this for my thirtieth birthday. I've been wanted to do this forever. Now I'm finally getting to do this. Awesome! <laughs> oh my God! I'm loving this! <laughs> Why are we doing this? I uh, just for fun, but it's true. I got a party hat on, and I'm going to a party. So, <laughs> my forty-eighth birthday. Forty-eighth birthday. Today? Today is the day. So how long have you wanted to do this? Uh, I don't know, years and years and years. Years and years yeah, and years. Yeah. And today's the day? Today's the day. What do you want to say before you take that big leap? I don't know. Just, uh, I don't know. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful. So I'm awesome. just going to say uh, thank you and, uh, and jump. <laughs> what an experience. Alrighty. Before we even get up, let me just uh, read it. Get the I can't believe it. <laughs> you just jumped out of a plane, Rick. Wow. <laughs> and he did that well on top of that. Made my life extremely easy. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. What are your thoughts, Rick? Uh, I just. <laughs> happy. Awesome. I just got to do what I want to do. Thank you, Father. Wow, less absolutely powerful footage there. Yeah, it's it's a daily experience of sharing people's experiences mm -hmm. with them, and they come for all different reasons. Mm -hmm. And that last last guy, Rick, um, it was the last thing he wanted to do before mm -hmm. he left, and he got to do it. Yeah, and I guess I mean you know in your career in your business you must see a lot of this these these last wishes you know very frequently. Uh, in fact, I met my wife on a bucket list. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's paid off for you then. In it a good has. way. It's paid off for you in a good way. Absolutely. And you you brought lots of gadgets for us today. Oh boy, um, do we have a lot of them. So let's take a look at some of the things that you've uh, brought for us to, you know, try on, take a look at. Sure. All right. Well, we've got a pile of helmets. This is a camera helmet, one of those funky little gadgets that I told you about. That yeah. We, so I have this on. I look kind of like a terminator in it. And that's what I always get as we know, Will this fit on? We were, we're talking uh, about head sizes, and my head is a little bit bigger. We'll, well get to that in a second. But does this fit on this you? This is an extra, extra, extra large. Okay. And it does fit on me. Um, you now, do look like something out of uh, the Terminator or right. uh, Demolition Man or something. Now I have a funny feeling your head might be a little bigger. <laughs> You're lucky I like you, Les. You're lucky I like you. You're lucky I like you. So, now will it fit on this? Yeah, yeah, just pull it over here. There, there you go. go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it fits. This, this feels like it weighs like 30 pounds. It does weigh about 12, 15 pounds. 
Oh my god. It's pretty heavy and you I, develop I feel like, you know, I have a while, you know, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> like, I, I, I feel like my voice should change when I put this helmet on. Yeah, absolutely. It's wow. a Terminator gear, man. Yeah. But see, this is, I mean, when you're getting those action shots that people are taking with them and having, you know, on the mantle for the rest of their lives, this is how you do sure. it. Sure, well, that footage that you just saw where that guy was coming out of the plane, all that footage is shot by that. Wow. So, so as we leave the plane, we're. So you mean right to tell home. me you've got 30 pounds on your head, 60 pounds on your back. Well, 30 pounds on my back when I'm doing video, and right. 60 pounds when I'm doing that, plus the passenger weight. Exactly. I'm going to take this off because I, I have a little bit of a hard time hearing you, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So there take that off. There All we right. go. Fantastic. So uh, and what else do we have here? That's a camera helmet. Okay. This would be a full face helmet. Okay. Uh, we use this when we fly with other skydivers or we're doing instructional stuff mm -hmm. because sometimes students will go out of control and they like to kick you in the face. Wow. Now, what's the size of this one? This is as well an extra, extra an large. Extra, let's see. Now, I always get made fun of from a big head. And let's just see if this fits on. That's a little tight, so I don't know. I may need the uh, double XL here. That is the double XL. <laughs> 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 Everyone's laughing in the studio. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, but it's at least I can hear a little bit better in this one. Well, so and then we also have uh, these gloves. Yes, which the, now these are my cold weather gloves. Mm -hmm. um, when we jump in April, the temperatures up at altitude will be about minus 15, right. minus 20. Uh, with the wind chill, you're talking. Uh, closer to about minus 60. Wow. And we're complaining about the weather out there today, but nothing compared to what you're doing on a daily basis. Right? Yep, yeah. nothing, nothing <laughs> at all. Um, Fantastic. Another way we will video people yeah. is we put this cool little device on us. Okay. Um, this is called a hand cam. That's amazing. And it's two Sony GoPros. Or, uh, GoPros? Can you take selfies like this? Of course you can. That is amazing. That's all I do all the way down. <laughs> we're, we're in free there fall we go, and we're yeah. taking selfies. I'm going down. <laughs> okay. Going down. Um, so this will take pictures, uh, one every half second. Okay. So all the way down, uh, normally you'll do about 200 some odd pictures. Wow. Uh, and, and video all the way down. Yeah. Now, a question I have for you too, because I mean, obviously there's a lot of free s thrill se seekers out there. Obviously there's a lot of people who really want to do this, but what about the people who kind of get on in their kind of, you know, concern? And they're, they're, they want to do it, but they're nervous. How do you put them at ease? Um, well, when you're riding up in the plane, we pay attention to what, how you're doing. Mm -hmm. So if you're a little bit off and you're nervous, yeah. we'll crack jokes, we'll, we'll loosen you up a little bit. If that doesn't work, we'll, we'll figure out a way to get you comfortable. And most of the time, honestly, all it takes is being around us. Yeah. Once you're around us and as the plane's climbing up, we're making jokes and we're kind of kidding around and you, you really get a sense of ease because you're like, these guys have done this thousands of times. And they're joking. Yeah. They're not freaking they're, out at all. They're laughing too. They're laughing too. And then uh, we, this is some of the gear that you'd be uh, wearing. We're actually going to get back to that coming up in just a quick second. More with Skydive Toronto and Les Farkas. Don't you go anywhere. Stay right here. Let's try this on. Welcome uh -oh. back to daytime, and we are back here, of course, with Skydive Toronto, Les Farkas, a man that you are quite familiar with, Melody Case. I am quite, oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. All done up now. And quite familiar with the jumpsuits, obviously. And apparently. Uh, so, uh, you How know. to get in and out of them. So, th this is a little awkward. You know, we're married until 12. Yeah. After 12, Les takes over. Yeah, exactly. What happens? I don't know. I, I'm enjoying that you guys are able to get along so well. We like, I'm just worried. I know. I feel like we could just have a beer here and it's just like keep doing that. It's not sister wives. It's it's uh, brother, brother wives. wives. There you go. Brother husbands. Brother husbands. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you ever Hilarious. get concerned about Les in his profession? I mean, obviously oh. skydiving, you know, thrill-seeking. Yeah. Do you get nervous? Well, you know what? I get asked that all the time. And the thing is, is I really don't think about it. Yeah. Because of the fact that he is doing exactly what he loves to do. Yeah. And every single day, both of us go to work, love what we go, wh where we're going, what we're doing, come home, and we're both happy. Right? So we're, we're living a life of, of fun and excitement. Of so, sure, you could always think of the fear of it all, mm -hmm. but why? But when when really the fear of it isn't And let me that add fearful. this right now, you're yeah. at much more risk driving to work every yeah. day. You have a one in six thousand chance of something happening to you on the way to work and our odds are more like one in seven hundred thousand. That's incredible and it's funny because as Melanie was speaking, I was kind of thinking that you know, every time we get onto the four hundred, we get on the D V P. Oh yeah. The yeah. most you're dangerous part of my day is my drive to work. Wow. Yeah. Statistically. Yeah. Statistically. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Now, now, you've got us all suited up here, Les. I do. I have different kinds of suits mm -hmm. here. Should uh, we move over so people can see? Take a look um, at the full body. Because, all right, because well, they are go. different. We'll step out. 
Here we go. Now, th now these are like massive onesies, if you ask me. They are yeah. massive onesies. So yeah. Mel over there has got something called a camera suit on. So there you go. There Those you go. wings <laughs> are designed to slow our fall rates a and little bit. And you have bit. to make the sound. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so breezy out here. Breezy out here. I'm like the bird man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mel's the video guy. Yeah. And this is called an RW suit. Okay. Um, this is for when we go out and do multi person formations yep. uh, on our bellies. Mm -hmm. uh, this that I have in my hand is something that I'm sure everybody has seen wow. on YouTube. Oh, God. These are, this is a wingsuit. Oh, cool. So this is what you see those guys flying by the cliffs on. Yeah. Yeah, these are pr pretty awesome. Wow. They're like, it's like being a human jet fighter. Yeah, that's You'll incredible. move forward. You come in the middle of us yeah, right here and hold this. All that's right. great. So we can just hold this up here. All right. Wonderful. Fantastic. That's what it would look like. That's crazy. <laughs> and these all these all inflate too. Everything right? inflates. It's just like a parachute. Um, it slows my descent rate from taking about a minute in free fall time to almost three minutes of free fall right. time. So it triples my, my rate and I fly forward speed wise about 120 miles an hour. That's amazing. So it's a human jet rider. Would you ever do it? <sighs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I could do it. You You've done it, right? Well, yeah, that's how we met. Yeah, the, the 30 things before 30? Yes. Yes. And actually, I've done it three times. One, we did, uh, he took me for a tandem on his thousandth jump. That's right. Uh, for my thousandth, when we do a thousand or two thousand or five hundred, any of the yeah. monumental ones, we do something big for it. How romantic I, is that? Well, I was and it was say, a sunlight, yeah. sunset. Sunset. We have some yeah. great pictures. Yeah, yeah, they are that couple, just for all those <laughs> watching at home. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. Yeah, just exactly. so you know. You know, it's funny because I do have a, a number of friends who have done it. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest with you, it's been at Skydive Toronto. Yeah. They've all had fantastic experiences, so. Maybe. 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 I'm we'll telling see. You, we'll you, see. You Maybe. Know, all it'll take is you come out, hang out for 20 minutes. Yeah. Just come yeah. visit me for 20 minutes okay. and watch people land. And yeah. you see the conveyor belt of craziness that is Skydive Toronto and you will be in 100%. Yeah. I mean, that thrill that you feel when you're, you know, flying in the air essentially must be unlike, is it unlike anything else? You, you know what experience? sells it is the smile when you land. When you yeah. land, if you're standing around and you're watching these people land, they have ear-to-ear -ear smiles, and they leave the door. Those smiles are still stuck there for a week. Yeah. In the video, I mean, you're obviously not only smiling, but it can be pretty emotional for those people who maybe it Absolutely. was something they've always wanted to do, but now that their life, sadly, is Absolutely. about to come to an end, it's mm -hmm. like, this is the one thing I want to do and say that I did when I left planet Earth. Absolutely, and it's, it's a big honor for us to be able to help people mm -hmm. do that. Do you ever get choked up? Oh, all the time. Yeah, yeah. it happens. It happens more than more than. You like to rarely. admit, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. That's and the thing is, people actually um, they come and just watch you guys jump. They'll park on the, on side, the side of the, of the road. road. Yeah. And and that's an experience too. Well, sure. I mean, you're just sitting around seeing all these colorful parachutes. I know my little brother came out. He's only like three years old, oh, and it's just watching these beautiful parachutes come down. It's amazing. Yeah, just visually, and you know, once this once we get done with this weather, we'll be able to see it all over again. Absolutely. Awesome. And the energy. Thank is. you, honey, for joining <laughs> us today. And you too, honey. Okay. <laughs> number two. Number two. I should have been in the middle. <laughs> yes, Thanks you very much for watching. Thanks Hopefully everybody. you learned something. Go do something productive with the rest of your daytime. <laughs> Go jump this summer. There you go. <laughs>